What's going on everybody? It's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, a couple reasons for that. The first one is ISC just switched to TWL3 as their lexicon and I didn't want to post a video where we're playing with the lexicon. I don't know any of the new words. It just wouldn't be a good idea. But uh, I've landed a match with Conrad Bassett Bouchard. We've agreed to just play TWL2 without any of the new words. We're not going to play any of the new stuff. Um, and uh, it's going to be a great game. For those of you who don't follow Scrabble that closely, Conrad, aka Dacron, just won the U.S. Nationals a few months ago, so he is the national champion. That's pretty sick. So we'll see what kind of game I can give him, see if I can beat the champion. Um, I drew, drew Nopli I on my first strike, N-A-U-P-L-I-I, -I, but his play has prevented me from putting that anywhere. So that's not going to happen. I'm wondering if I have any eights. Initially, oh, I think I have one with the blank as a uh, Q. Quinella or Quiniella. I can never remember how to spell that, though. It might be both spellings. Quinella? Quiniella? I'm not sure which one, or if they're both good. Um, Quinella would be a double-double, so if I'm unsure, I should just try that one. I'm pretty sure it's Quiniella. I remember it coming from a Spanish word, so I believe it'd be that I-E, Quiniella. Um, God, I hate being uncertain of things. And I know there was a time at which I knew the answer to this, but... Ah, uh, this is tough. I believe it's just Quiniella and not Quinellia. I'm sorry for for uh, putting these words into your heads that aren't really words, but I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. I'm pretty sure this is right. If not, he'll challenge it right away unless he's sitting on an S, so we'll know pretty soon. Quiniella. Well, it's still on the board. That's pretty good. Um... This is a pretty decent rack. Some people see that VW and just kind of rage, but it's, it's pretty good for scoring points, to be honest. That's not right. That's right. Um, you know, when you draw VW, most of the time you're going to be able to score 24, 26, and get rid of both of them. Um, I can play Vrow right now. I can play Woven down here and get 34. So I don't mind this at all. Um, I do think people just tend to rage a little bit too hard when they play Scrabble and fixate on, oh my god, VW together, that's awful, a little more than they should. But we all love finding reasons to complain, don't we? I'm sure you guys have heard me do it on here before. Uh, I don't remember if Weenie has any f front hooks. Um, I should. My inclination is that both the S and the T are good. I'm pretty sure the T and like 90% of the uh, S, I like, I'm pretty confident that they're both good, but not 100%. And again, I just hate being uncertain of words. Part of it honestly could be intimidation from playing a player as high rated as Conrad. Uh, Vrau is now the leading candidate since Conrad knocked out this spot. Maybe he did that because he's antsy about the S-hook. He knows he's the uh, favorite in this match, so he's knocking it out. Maybe he just did it because he had a bad rack. I don't I don't see any plays worth even thinking about except Vrau. We do want to break up that VU. We want to get rid of both of them, and through this U is really the only spot to score points. I don't see a play down from the M. U is not good, so I can't play Robin. I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Let's try and type it correctly. I don't know why I can't type that word. It's been so many attempts and so many typos this time. All right, that's down. Draw the Z. That's pretty good. It means more points for us. Scoring points is always a good thing. Um, initially, I'm not really seeing too many plays I can make, though. Raise is something. It also pretty much eliminates this spot unless somebody wants to drop an S right there at the very end of the game. 
or for some reason if I really want to I can play zebra but I would really only do that I think if I'm holding a play that goes here and I think he's got a worse than average rack or a more consonant heavy than average rack I can't make it either of those plays now anyway so I don't have to think about that anymore that's good I hate thinking um, I can maybe make a play back hooking Quint, but I just don't think we're going to score very many points with that. Conrad does pride himself on being a defensive player, and you can already kind of see that reflected in the shape of this board. I'm also, I think I tend that way more than the average player. Um, so I feel like this whole game is going to feel a lot like this, where it's just a, a grind fest, a struggle to find high scoring plays Ugh. I mean I see Za and Quinta Quinta whatever that's just terrible but I can't really find any other plays It's possible Conrad was trying to set up an S for Squint. I know he likes to set things up. Quint is also just probably his best play most of the time when he has it. So if I play behind it, I am knocking that out. I can play Bean. That sets up this. I don't want to give Conrad a spot to score points, really, but after the Zaw play, it's going to be much harder for him, too. But I'm also holding... Oh, well, I'm holding Zebek after this. Um, I don't know how often Conrad is going to play from the Z. It seems like a pretty high percentage of the time. Like Almost, almost any time he's got a 5 here when he doesn't have a bingo, he's going to go there. But I don't know how often he's actually going to have the 5 there. Maybe he exchanges, maybe he plays down here. Maybe he bingos down here, but he's not really showing a bingo. I'm going to go ahead and do this just because it holds Zebek. Uh, generally, BCEEN is not something I want to keep, but when you're guaranteed, not guaranteed, but when you're holding a 36 point play with it, it's fine. Don't think this wreck bingos with a 7. 8s don't go down on this board. I guess Quinta has a lot of back hooks, so I should have thought about anytime he has an A, he's probably going here somehow. Takes the R, the S, the L. Um. Takes an N as well. So yeah, I'm, he's probably just going to play there. Unless I got lucky and he doesn't have an A. Oh, it looks like I got lucky and he doesn't have an A. Um, so I can play bar. It's 35. I don't think I have a 5 down. Zebek holds A and R, scores 36. That's pretty solid. Um, I don't think he had an A last turn, so I can, well, I can play Raj, keep Zebek another time. You know, the odds that he picked up an A on a three-tile pull are not that high, so I don't think he's going to go here again. Maybe he just makes a, a play right there, though. I think Raj is just a little bit too cute. Um, I don't think I have any sort of play through the J or from the J to hit a triple, aside from Raj. Um, there's Carney for 40, or Barney for 40 would be better. Um, so I hold CEE, -E, I keep the board closed, I get 40. Or I play Zebek, score 36, keep A and R. The board now becomes open to, I'm pretty sure this takes a K, and it definitely takes an S. Um, the volatility against Conrad's probably something I want. 
giving this spot up open is not so much. I'm going to run with Barney. Um, I just think that's a little more solid here. Limits his options, and we'll see where it goes. 40 points for me. Puts me ahead again, but I, I always feel like it doesn't really count when you're ahead and you've bingoed, but your opponent hasn't. Or, like, when you're not ahead by a bunch. Cog looks pretty solid. Clog if I really want to, but I'd rather play Cog, I think. Hold that L to go with my G. Solidify the rack a little bit more. Oh, is Juggle good? Oh, I hate not knowing words, and it's just come up so many different times. I think this one's good too, but I'm just not certain. That's so much better than any other option I have, that if it stays there, I think I've got to make that play. But we'll, we'll see what stays open. Don't think Conrad ever plays a 5 here. He plays 4s here sometimes, but then Joggle is, is still very devastating. He plays Tocher and Tweeny. If he played it, it's probably good, so I'll just let it. Joggle's going to open up these bingo lines here, but that's okay. I'm going to put it down. Still on the board. That's probably good. Okay. I uh, need to stop doubting myself, I guess, because every time I've doubted a word, it's been fine. Still better safe than sorry. Don't play with fire if you don't have to, especially against somebody with word knowledge as good as Conrad's. I don't think this rack bingos through that in. I don't think it's going to bingo through anything, but I might be wrong. So, yeah, we do have a lot of sixes on this board. So I've got to find something I want to do. Um, I can keep things closed on Conrad, but I feel like that's not something I want to do. Again, that's his specialty, and I'm not, I, I'm nowhere near as good as Conrad at them, and I think I'm fine on open boards. But I'm not going to go out of my way to open the board unless I have a play that, that seems worthwhile. Right now, I'm just not seeing any plays that see worthwhile. I don't know if Joggle takes that R. Um, I don't think I can risk that. I can play Sig. I don't really like this leave very much. This S hook is not going to go away, but that, that seems fine. I'm not, not in a great position right now. I don't re really want to start worrying about things like that. I don't see any plays over here, over here. Again, I don't think I'd bingo. Oh, that's sick. If I had a Z, I'd bingo with Grease Eyes. G-R-E-E-C-I-Z-E. -E. But I don't. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play Sig um, in the interest of time and in the interest of there's probably not a better option out there. I uh, drew into a vowel heavy rack, which is kind of expected when you keep A-E-E-R. But this seems like it's going to be fine. There are enough words that I can make in here to work my way out of this. I guess on a closed board, it doesn't matter if you draw a bad rack as much because nobody's scoring all that much. Well, you say that, but we've been scoring fine almost all game. You know, 40, 36, 48, 45... 26 is about an average play, a little below average. But it always feels like there's nowhere to score. We just happen to have the right plays for the spots available. Copier is going to play out of the rack all right. Um, 20 points, keep AE, which is not superb. Throws the board wide open, but Conrad is not showing a blank right now. He's not taking extra time. He's just played out five tiles.
Opera goes over here. Depends on how scared I am of this OH spot. In TWL, it's not that big a deal because DOH is not good. I really only have to worry about the O, the P, the N. There's only one N left. Oh, the F. He'll probably hit some, some decent points here or here. So it depends on how desperate I am to get out of this rack and score points. <sighs> Korai is another option. 18 points, PEE leave. Um, Equity-wise, I'd say they're all pretty similar, except Opera is probably a little ahead, but then defensively it falls behind again. So I don't... It's, it's going to be more of a stylistic thing, I think. Whatever I want to do next turn, I can. Unless Conrad changes the shape of the board. Peakier is pretty terrible. I'm just looking looking for other options. So oh, that's cute. Colton is making Conrad breakfast in bed. And if I really want to, I can play Rye. I don't know why I'd want to, but if I do, I can. Twenty-four, but the leave is so bad. Let's count the vowels left just to think about how important it is to get rid of these. Seven, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen out of forty-one. So pretty neutral in the pool. Uh, you know, sometimes it's okay to keep two or three vowels with no consonants if the pool's pretty consonant heavy, but that's not the case here. Vowels are just as bad as they usually are. Nineteen that doesn't seem to be worth it. I wonder what he's thinking about. It's uh, times like this where your opponent thinks for a long time that I think it's very important to try and get a tell off of them. See if they look frustrated or if they're Shuffling their tiles a lot. Okay, he just had a bingo rack and he was trying to figure out what the best bingo was. Um, probably did that. So with that being done, I think Opera becomes a little stronger. You know, I, actually, I don't know if that's true. Copier is going to throw the board open. Um, it's going to allow like maybe a dink play here, and then everything is closed again. If he has an S, I get royally screwed sometimes. Actually, no H is left. No K is left. I don't think I get hit that hard there most of the time, actually. Um, allows for some plays up here. Opera, he's going to need one of these A's, but there's a lot, and the right tiles to overlap. Um, what kind of plays can he hit me with down here? Got that F. 
fab and something like that fem not too many tiles that are going to go here the f the p and he's probably not going to waste an s just to make a play here so i'm actually not too worried about these plays potential i'm going to go ahead and play opera and stop being scared grab my points and see where this leave takes me i got the x that's pretty good i think see how many points i can get with it nothing else max size 42 if that spot stays there i got an o to play ooh I don't think I've got any words to go along with it. I don't think outmix is good. Comics is. I don't know if that's comics or if it's co-mix. I think it's comics, like comic books. And that's 32. It holds a U to go underneath, but I think Conrad wrecks me here a lot. Alright, he scores a bunch there. That's way on the upper end of stuff he could have had there, but that's okay. If I want to blow the board open, I can play timeout right now. Make this S hook kind of big. Conrad's going to go here, and it's not going to be that big. It's basically, I'm blowing up my rack, letting Conrad score more points than me, and not really getting anywhere. I don't think he has any tile, actually. He can play right here. That will stop me from overlapping on this side, and with the X, that'll be a lot. So maybe that's a play I want to make. Um, I can keep things smaller and play mix with just I, I, U unseen and me holding a U. It means I get this spot a decent amount of the time. I don't think there's an X play worth fishing for available. You know, let's just dump the O, keep, keep that X and maybe maybe try and hit a bigger play, but again, I don't think, I don't think I see, can get anything here. I already have about the biggest X play I can get here. The X isn't going to fall there very often at all. Um, I can also play Moxie, accomplish basically the same thing. 36, Oxime doesn't set up my X, but it scores so much more, and it's going to create this spot here, which is going to be annoying for Conrad to deal with. Only one E left means a play right here is very unlikely. He can go here and leave this available. But after Oxime, I'm so close, I don't think I need to worry about opening these bingo lines anymore. Still, it scores so much, I think I just have to play this. And I will. Um, A, B, D, I, O, T, U. A 6 down here would be pretty sick, but I don't think I've got it. Maybe a play over here. Audio is there. Um... Yeah, the O is going to have to go here. I keep seeing Collins words. I've been playing it for like two weeks and I'm already seeing plays everywhere. That's kind of annoying. There's always random high scoring plays over here, but but I'd rather make something like Bota to score or to get rid of a few more vowels. I think three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of 19 is actually okay, a little bit on the consonant heavy side. So I don't care if I keep, you know, two vowels, two consonants, or maybe even one vowel, or two vowels, one consonant. I'd like to keep more balanced vowels, you know, I'd rather get rid of the U if I can. Uh, you know, I don't know what will be available after Conrad makes his play. Audio still looks kind of solid, although now that I see that I'm probably going to draw a good amount of consonants on my next turn, we'll see. I also want to be making inferences from Conrad's rec, see how many vowels he plays, see how many I think he's keeping.
Oh, the B is really big for this spot. I just noticed that. Taboo is going to be a lot. 30 points. Holds pretty poorly. But... Yeah, especially with three Ds left. Alright, he did have that E, but he didn't hit me here, so that's nice. Um, yeah, the yellow spot's actually not that intimidating. Um, so Taboo is going to put me down... 21 and a turn with three in the bag. I just don't know if I can catch him very often, especially holding DUI out of that play. Um, I'm not going to double up the I or the U anymore after this play. What kind of racks can I draw? A, D, I, R, T, U, something like that. Racks that won't score a lot of points most of the time, and I'll be in a situation where down 21 I will have to get a lot of points. I don't think I can draw any plays here. I think maybe Rod or something like that. In fact, I've already got Rod. Hello, Ty. Uh, that'll hold the U. That actually sets up Boho, which is kind of nice, but how often do you draw words ending in U or ending in B? If I pick up one of those A's, I'll have D-A-U-B, which I'm pretty sure is good. God, I hate not knowing words. Um, so let's see, 27, that'll put me down uh, 24. If I hit D-A-U-B, like I almost certainly will, um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21, 24, 30 points. Um, and I leave a poor amount of tiles in the bag for Conrad after Rota. That looks like a decent play. It seems to do better things for me than uh, Taboo. So there's my leading candidate. I'm also getting low on time, and we're probably going to have an end game in this game. So I may, may just hurry things along here. Yep, I'm going to do it. Hold that B. Try and draw Dob. Let's see what I get. Got an A. Cool. Dob is 30. Keep FIP, which is not too hot. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going out with that. I don't know if Conrad is emptying the bag, though. If he makes a play through the E, he will. Then it'll become a situation where I need to go out before him and score a ton of points. Yeah, I'm probably not winning this game. We'll see what Conrad is able to do. Probably won't be scoring points with a pool like this. Got Cupid up here also. That's gonna hold Fab. Fab will go here for what seventeen. Technically, it would go here, but we're playing OWO two, so it won't. Um, it'll go here for fifteen. So twenty plus fifteen. That's gonna lose the game for me. I guess it's worth, worth noting, if I do play Boho here, he can just drop that S for 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 36. Ouch. Ouch. Probably should have thought about that last turn. I'm just blundering my way through the end of this game. That's a lot more than I was hoping he would score. Um, holds Dotard with no spot for it. FIP, again, the, the DAUB sequence looks pretty sick, but I can't play FIP anywhere. He can do nothing about, well, he can do a little bit, maybe. Drop a T right there if he really wants to stop me. But with FIP, it's not worth doing. Um... 
Do I have a tile that goes here that he can't play behind? B, yes, D, yes, I, no, okay, I don't. I do have blasts. I don't know if plast is good. All right, Cupid. Oh, I hold fab here now for 26. I hold fab over here. I think I'm gonna lose the game. I'm just down by too much. Um, FIDU is not going out. Bupa is not going out. I think I'm just going to throw in the towel, play Cupid, um, let him go here, play Fab out, or let him go here, play Fab out over here. I just, I think I lose. Um, I'm trying to see if I have any other sort of CA play that maybe sets up the F, but... I don't even see any other words that go there. I'll just play Cupid. Lose the game. Yeah, I just I blundered my way through through part of this game. I didn't really know what to do on the closed board with racks like this and this. I feel like I was scoring well, but he was just scoring better. Maybe it was bad luck that he just had plays that scored more than me with family and lasts, or maybe it was that I was setting him up to have those over and over. Um, it'll be an interesting game to talk about with Conrad afterward. If Conrad doesn't set himself up to go out in a 2, I can play A, B right here for 25 and then plunk my F somewhere if I want to, but 10 there is probably the best I'm going to get. Yeah, I guess what I should have done is with Rota set myself up to try and draw bingo. Because realistically, even if I do draw Dob, and he doesn't have that, he can drop the o, the S. He can score well enough to, to outrun the whole sequence, almost no matter what. Um, so maybe in a closer game, Rota would be better. But being down as much as I was, it's just not not the right thing to do. And you know, you never know. I could have missed something extremely obvious earlier in the game, and that's that's the reason everything crumbled afterwards. I could be a complete jerk right now, and uh, and win this game. Oh wait, no, I wouldn't win. That's not enough anyway. Um, I could still be a complete jerk right now and play that, but I'm not. 18, 17. I really should know if feds is a word. I think it is. I think meds used to not be a word and then became a word, and feds has always been good. But it's one point, and just in the interest of safety, I'll do this. 
I once lost a tournament, or got fourth instead of third at a tournament and dropped out of the money because I played a phony outplay on Conrad in the last game when I had lost by a bunch. So I just just take the safe route. Don't embarrass myself again. Anyway, thanks for watching. It was a cool game. Well done, Conrad. Um, I'm going to try and put more games up recently. Or uh, soon, I guess. Now that I've decided what to do about the dictionary thing. Anyway, peace out, y'all. See you soon.